When we think about digital transformations at McKinsey, we have a framework whereby for a country we think about digital society, digital government, and digital economy. Now let me take them one by one in terms of how Asia has done over the last several years and how I think about the future for Asia. Let's start with digital society. If I think about access to healthcare and education and how digital is transforming this arena, there are many micro innovations that digital has enabled if you look at the last several years. So for example, schools in remote rural parts of Indonesia, India, Sri Lanka, many of the South Asian and Southeast Asian countries have started using the power of tech to bring in, for example, Khan Academy videos to zoom in some of the world's best teachers. And in remote rural parts of South and Southeast Asia where you don't have great access to high quality teachers in sufficient numbers, this is groundbreaking micro innovation. There are many such innovations on healthcare as well where tech has enabled remote healthcare, whereby you're able to remotely monitor the parameters of a patient and send them in real time or with some delay to the doctor or to the healthcare system. And they are able to send back then what the titrated medication changes are. And then the medicines are delivered to the doorstep of the patient. For remote rural parts of Asia, Southeast Asia, this is huge innovation. So that's what I see on the digital society front. When we think about the next pillar on digital government, again, there have been many innovations, but the one that comes to mind immediately is in India, the power of the national digital identity. In India, what that has enabled is significant increase in universal healthcare access and ability to provide conditional cash transfers that are then tied to monitoring outcomes, the doling out of this, which previously was not possible. Universal national ID like Aadhaar makes that possible. At the end of the day, the private sector is the lifeblood of the economy. I would say there's two sides to it. One is what the consumers do in terms of driving adoption of digital, driving demand for digital, right? Increasingly with the proliferation of e-commerce, with ride hailing apps, etc., consumers more and more demand digital services at the press of a button. And therefore businesses are also forced to innovate. But also when you think about the business side of things, how businesses are thinking about transforming productivity, digital and analytics has been such an important lever. Last but not least, one underpinning factor that I want to touch upon is the importance of talent. Because uh, what becomes a bit the bottleneck, whether it is digital society, economy or government, is the availability of high quality digital talent. Increasingly in many of the countries, there are initiatives that are being put in place at many different levels, starting from the school level to say how do we put in place a STEM curriculum, a digital and analytics curriculum so that our students of tomorrow, 10 years, 20 years from now, are much more digitally savvy and ready. So that's the important uh, job to be done, if you will, on providing digital talent to economy. <music>